today on Karamo. I went in the bathroom and I tased him. You tased him? I did. Their relationship is extremely violent. We can keep getting tased every day if you want. I'm, I'm down. But is he the father of her child? He would go hang out with other females, so I did the same thing with guys around the time I got pregnant. A DNA test you will never forget is about to be unlocked. If you find out he isn't your son, what will you do? Plus, when my grandmother died, she left me $20,000. Did his father con him out of his inheritance? He told me it disappeared. This family is going to have to figure it out today. I turn around and I get smacked in the face with a felt. You're saying that your son just made that up? Man, you such you a liar. You, you won't even shut up enough for me to even give him that. So I didn't steal his money, so get to that. What would the lie detector outcome reveal? The truth is... <laughs> Brianna says when her 18th-month-old son Kirby was born, her boyfriend Michael immediately had doubts. He claims she was cheating and says the fact that the baby has blue eyes instead of brown isn't helping. So we've given them a DNA test to uncover the truth. Let's bring Brianna out to hear her side of the story. Everyone, welcome Brianna. Hi, Brianna. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? May I have a hug? Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah. So I got to ask you immediately, was there cheating and dishonesty in the beginning of your relationship? Yes, there was. Um, we both, like, we kept lying. We kept, um, I'm not going to say cheating on my part, because I know I haven't cheated on him. Yeah. Um, but there were times, like, where he would go hang out with other females, and he would lie about it. Got it. Um, so I did the same thing with guys. And um, I never had sex with any of them or anything, but. So there's yeah. been distrust from the beginning of this. Yes, there has. So now that Kirby is here, your child, it makes sense why this, it doesn't make sense, but I can understand why it's been from the beginning. Right. Mm. Why doesn't he believe Kirby is your son? Um, his whole thing is the eyes, because they, he says brown eyes dominate, and that's what I've heard too, because I was hanging out so with- So it's just eye color? I think just with him, yes. You were saying you were hanging out with someone? Yes, Did they um, have? I was hanging out with another guy at the time, um, around the time I got pregnant. Um, that's probably, too, that's, that's why too, so. Did that guy have blue eyes? Um, brown, blue, blue greenish eyes, yes. Blue greenish eyes, okay. Um, so, you're saying to me earlier, you, there was no point, even when you were hanging out with this guy who had the blue eyes, that there was any cheating? No, there's not. I mean, I've never done anything with him. Never, never. at all. Okay. How do you handle co-parenting challenges? Um, pretty much if I ask him to do something, he'll, he'll, he'll help me. He'll um, help you. So he's, he's even been helping even though he has the doubts? Yeah, just, it's just here and there. I don't feel like I should have to ask you to help me with your kid. Yeah. Is the DNA issue the only problem in your relationship? No. Um, we fight constantly. We break up every day, pretty much. And how long have you been together? Um, almost three years. Three years together. Has it always been this toxic? Pretty much, yeah, but there's been times where we've, we've been good. Yeah. But they but, don't last And when long. you said the lying and cheating and the dis that, that distrust, that happened at the beginning, like in the first year? Mm -hmm. First yeah. six months? Yes. First six months? Yes, within the first, like, within the first few weeks, really. First few weeks, okay. He disappears for days, I, was, I heard you tell my producer. Yes. Um, he Where does, do you think he goes? Um, he says he goes to his dad's, um, but just a few weeks ago, um, when he was gone for three days, um, I sent someone back out there to go pick him up, and he wasn't there. Mm. Um, and then I actually checked on his Google history, um, and he was somewhere else in a different town for like all day that day, and he still won't tell me where he was at, or wow. his house that is. And so when you went through, checked his Google history, that means you've gone through his phone? I have. I've, I've went through his phone several times. Got it. And what have you found? Girl, don't take me out of a job, girl, okay? <laughs> um, just joking, just joking. But what do you find normally when you go into his phone? Um, I find, like, deleted messages from other females. Um, and I find other places. Sometimes I find places that he's been um, mm -hmm. that he lied to me about. I just, I don't want I don't, I don't want him to lie to me anymore, so. Got it. Um, and what happened at the laundromat? Um, so this was back like around July 4th of this year. Um, he, I got off work and I found him at the laundromat um, with a female that was inside doing her laundry. Um, and he said he just met her, but me and him got into an argument. Um, she tried to say something to me. I just didn't want to hear it from her. And she ended up calling the police because me and him got in a fight. And um, I ended up hiding in the woods behind the laundromat mm. um, because I'm not going to jail. Um, and when the police left, he actually left with that female and was gone for two days. Wow. Um, and when he came back, I got her number out of his phone. She told me that he said that he didn't love me and that he didn't want to be with me. And that he was just with me for a place to stay. 
So he was taking a bath, so I went in the bathroom and I tased him. Mm. You tased him? I did. That night. That's shocking, right? <laughs> what were you feeling at that moment where you decided to tase him in the bathtub? Because you, you were electrocuting him, basically. Um, you're not going to talk about me um, like that. You're just not going to do that because I, I feel like I do a lot for you. Are you hoping that this DNA outcome will help the relationship be fixed? It's going to take more from his part. Like, he's going to actually have to not lie to me. Like, and I'm, I'm going to have to do my part, too, mm -hmm. but I'm willing to do my part. Mm -hmm. Be more honest, be more present. Let me know what you're doing. Communication, that's, mm -hmm. that's the key. Got it. Well, I think it's time that we meet your boyfriend. So everyone, please welcome Michael to the show. How you doing, Michael? Good, you? Nice to meet you. You too. So I want to know, how do you feel about what she said? Um, I mean, she leaves a lot out. OK, she tell me out. what she leave out. Their relationship is extremely violent. That's not when she tased me. She tased me because... I know, I know when I tased you. We can keep getting tased every day if you want. I'm, I'm down. A DNA test you will never forget is about to be unlocked. Plus... So I didn't steal his money, so get to that. Did his father steal $20,000 from him? The truth is... Why doesn't he believe Kirby is your son? His whole thing is the eyes, because they, he says brown eyes dominate. How do you handle co-parenting challenges? Pretty much if I ask him to do something, he'll help me. So he's even been helping even though he has the doubts? Yeah, just, it's just here and there. I don't feel like I should have to ask you to help me with your kid. He actually left with that female and was gone for two days. Wow. Um, and when he came back, I got her number out of his phone. She told me that he said that he didn't love me and that he didn't want to be with me. So he was taking a bath, so I went in the bathroom and I tased him. You tased them. I did. I mean, she leaves a lot out. She okay, tell me what she leave out. I mean, well, one, the situation at the laundromat, that's not when she tased me. She tased me because one of her friends called her and was trying to, she said, no. after the fact. No, I tased you after you got home two days from hanging out with that girl and you were taking a bath and I had got the number out of her phone, out of your phone, her number, and I messaged her. That's when I come in there and tased you. Yes, I did. Okay, whatever. Yeah, uh, I know, I know when I taste you. So I want to know, how did it feel, because I've never been tased, how did it feel to be tased in the bathroom? <laughs> Electricity and water don't mix. Yeah, you know, like... I, I figured, but I didn't know, like... Okay, so I want to know, why don't you believe that Kirby is your son? Well, just, uh, there was a couple different occasions where she was sneaking around with, with this, this dude or that dude, and then uh, the eye color is my main thing, because like, I got three other kids, and all of them, they got dark brown eyes. In your heart, do you think he is yours? Yeah. You do? Uh, I want to, yeah. In your heart, you hope that he's yours? Yeah. And why are you hoping that he's yours? I, mean, I love him. You love him? Yeah. OK. <laughs> What's your relationship like with him now? What is your relationship like with Kirby? I mean, great, really, as long as uh, she lets me be around, you know? Oh, uh, don't do that, because I'll, I'll let you be there. Don't do that. I quit, I quit kicking you out. I just don't want you to yell at me. Whenever I'm talking to you about a serious situation, something that's bothering me, you should want to talk to me, not yell at me and then freaking leave. Like, mm -hmm. I just, I don't want that anymore. She locks me out every day, like, no. every day for, like, no. yes, every day. No. Every day. Mm. Mm -mm. What do you fight about? I, mean, I want to from you, Michael. She's always, I mean, she's always th thinking I'm doing some kind of dirt, and I feel like, I feel like if, if, if she's coming at me thinking I'm doing all kind of dirt and I'm not doing dirt, then to me, that's what about the, the message? What about them. the messages you delete out of your phone from the, the, other, the other girls telling them? them all the time that, oh, you just want to find I delete them because I know how you're going to act. You know, I ain't trying to get Why tased not? again. Really? Why'd, why'd you get tased? Because... Because you be tripping. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can keep getting tased every day if you want. I'm, I'm down. Ain't happening again. Have you cheated on her before? No, see, like... When we first got together, I got her to drop me off at my ex's house because uh, my ex wouldn't let me get all my stuff. And I was, she was supposed to pick me back up that evening. And uh, I, I left my phone in her car, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't have no way to call her and tell her to come back and pick me up. So she automatically assumed, I guess, that I got back with old girl. So she goes and gets rid of my stuff, you know? Is like, that, that true? That's like the, that's fir that's like the that's first true. week we were together. So you overreacted from the beginning? Mm -hmm. But yeah, I did. Yeah, so your insecurities are what caused the that, foundation yeah. to be rocky. Mm -hmm. So what happens when y'all argue? I mean, I ain't got now. I just, I 
Turn around and walk. She talking about me leaving. I turn around and walk out. I don't go nowhere. I, we stay in an apartment complex. You know, I go to another apartment, one of my, one of my buddy's apartments or something. But, yeah. Uh, Do you know that? That's where he's going? Um, here recently, like since he's been back from his dad's this time, he, um, he's been right there in the apartment complex. But do you feel like other times he lies about where he's going? Yeah, I want to know where you were out the other day whenever um, you went to your dad's in three days. And I caught your um, Google history. I told you where I went. Whose house is that in Honey Pass? I don't know whose house. Has there been substance abuse issues in this relationship ever? In the past, yes. We in have. In the past. We don't do anything like that. Yeah, so it was in the past, before y'all started dating. Yes. You both had those issues. Okay, got it. Well, I think that at this point right now, you have mistrust about him, and you're hoping that this is your child, but yeah. if you find out he isn't your son, what will you do? I mean, I'm still going to love him. I, I, st I mean, I still want to be in his life, but uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change a lot. Mm -hmm. Would you two break up if you find For out? Sure. For sure? For sure. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do um, if he is yours? Because I know he's yours. What are you going to do? Are you going to help me more with him? Are you going to be more present in his life? I'm, not gonna I'm never going to take away that you're his father. I can promise you that. If we're together or if we're not together, if we leave here and we're not together because of something, Kirby still needs you. Well, Brianna and Michael, are you ready for the outcome, the DNA outcome? I am. Okay. Because in this envelope right here, is the confirmation if Kirby is or is not your child. Um, how are you feeling about this moment? Both of you, are you nervous? Are you, you feel pretty secure? I know. Okay. I'm gonna give this to you, since you have the questions to All answer. Right. Don't go away. The DNA outcome is about to be unlocked. And that's not all. No matter what the test says, you stole his childhood. I do know yeah, that I, Yeah, I know, I stole You his, stole his childhood. Stole. Did his father steal $20,000 from him? The truth is. Why don't you believe that Kirby is your son? She was sneaking around with, with this, this dude or that dude, and then uh, the eye color is my main thing, because like, I got three other kids, and all of them, they got dark brown eyes. In your heart, do you think he is your Yeah. You do? Oh, uh, I want to, yeah. In your heart, you hope that he's yours. Yeah. And why are you hoping that he's yours? I, mean, I love him. Well, Brianna and Michael, are you ready for the DNA outcome? I am. I'm going to give this to you. I am the bi biological father. <laughs> OK. You got, he, he, he knows now. How do you feel hearing that news? I mean, it makes me feel a lot better. Like, I don't, I, you know, I don't like having no doubt in my mind, you know? Yeah. What's going on in your head? Um, I knew, I know. You know, you knew. knew. Okay. Well, I gotta tell you this. I, um, in all sincerity, I'm so happy that you know the answers for the child, but I, I pray that um, you all break up. <laughs> and I mean that. I, and I, and I, I say I pray. Um, you both look miserable. You both look miserable. And I don't know what it is that's been holding on to this. Obviously, the trust, I, I was able to figure it out from the beginning. You had some insecurities from your past that immediately came to this relationship. And then once you did that to him, he then was triggered. And then he started to say, well, you know what, forget this. And it just went on a pattern. And now y'all in a spiral. But I don't care what is happening or but tasing the things that I've been going through, it's not healthy. And the thing is, is that I'd rather you all figure out how to co-parent and be there for this beautiful child for Kirby's sake so that he can be in a healthy, in a healthy house versus y'all staying together and going at it like this. You've already shut down, Michael. I already see it, you shut down. And the more he shuts down is the more it's pissing you off. But he's shut down because he's done, he's exhausted. Right. And you're exhausted too, but you're looking for closure, and you're looking for closure in a way that's not healthy. Right. I think both of y'all know in your heart of hearts, y'all shouldn't be together, right? Well, you know it. Very have you, toxic. Have very you, toxic. Very toxic. I'm gonna ask you one question. Have you ever been in a healthy relationship? I don't think so. That makes sense. Have you ever been in a healthy relationship? Oh uh, yeah. You have. There's a lot of trust issues. I'm sure the trust issues came before the men. You had trust issues in your house as well, right? Mm -hmm. Growing up, right? I did, I did. Yeah, I figured. And so all I'm saying to you is that I would suggest for you to find your way out of this relationship and take at least a year of doing self-discovery as a woman. So you're 40, you've been around, you need to figure out what's gonna be healthy for you going next, but 
this can't work. Yeah. Trust me. Okay. And start to heal the trust issues that you have in you. Because until you heal the trust issues you have in you, all you're going to do is continue to find men that are going to trigger the trust in you. And you're going to continue to make erratic decisions that one day is going to end up leading you in jail. Think about it. If you tased him in the bathtub and he would have died or went to cardiac arrest, you could have been charged. Yeah, um. Heal yourself from these trust issues. Y'all break up and figure out how to co-parent, and I wish y'all the best of luck. Thank you. I say this a lot to the guests, and I'm like, don't have your kid calling back this show in 15 years. Because I know they are. Because this child is going to be calling back and saying, my mother and father fought. They put me second. They didn't love me. There was... My mom accidentally went to jail because she did this, because she tased in water? I'm like, I'm giving you real advice, girl. Take it. If y'all in unhealthy relationships, just take this as a warning. Just leave, OK? Just leave. Leave. When my grandmother died, she left me $20,000. Did his father con him out of his inheritance? He told me it disappeared. This family is going to have to figure it out today. I turn around and I get smacked in the face with a belt. You're saying that your son just made that up. Man, you suck. So I didn't steal his money, so get to that. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Eric may have the same name as his father, Eric Sr., but according to him, that's where the similarities end. Eric says his father is an abusive con man, and he hasn't spoken to him in over two years. He believes Eric Sr. stole $20,000 from him that he was supposed to use for college. So today, we're going to unlock the truth. But first, I'm going to sit down with Eric Jr., so please welcome Eric to the show. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Good morning, Grandma. Can I give you a hug, man? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to see me. So, you guys start off. $20,000 is a lot of money. So, please tell yes, me. Yes, it is. What's, what's the story of this $20,000? So, I mean, first, I think we got to go back to where it all began. Yeah. Growing up, my father wasn't around much. He was an addict. Okay. He was able to hide the fact that he was an addict because he was such a damn good liar. Mm. Like, such a good con man, right? He's an abuser. He blames all of it on addiction, but... It's just who he is, I think. So all of that is leading you to believe that he t took this money. So what did yeah. your father say about the money? So m my grandmother died. She, she had money. She had a lot of money. Okay. Um, she spoiled him growing up. Everybody in the family knows this. Um, he, was, he was known for being a spoiled brat. And he, my, mother, my grandmother would bail him out of everything. Yeah. When my grandmother died, she left me $20,000 to go to college. Only stipulation was that I had to have my name, I had to go to college. When I was in high school, I think my junior year, he told me that he, had his, he was getting his associate's degree. At the end of high school, though, I asked him where my money was, and he told me that it disappeared. Wow. What's interesting about that thing about the associate's degree is because you said that part of the stipulation was the $20,000 exactly. was to you as long as you went to college as and is in your name. College. Exactly. And so you and your father have the same name. So do you he, think that your father went to I college think, just to take your I money? I think he went to college just to take my money. Mm. It, made, it made zero sense that he would go to college for anything, considering he doesn't have anything that he wants to do for a degree. He's did all, he finish? Uh, I, I believe so. I haven't spoke to him in a while. Okay. How long has it been since y'all spoke? About two and a half years. Two and a half years. Got it. The okay. last time I spoke to him, he, he told me to stop contacting him. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, he told me to stop contacting him because I wasn't giving up on the, the, the money that he had said my grandmother left for me for college. Was your father around when you were growing up? Not much. Growing up, um, he had visitation rights here and there, mm -hmm. um, but I would go visit him in halfway houses and all types of things. Like, we, we slept different places. He, he, he tried. He tried somewhat, but he's, he's a <laughs> He can't help it, I guess. Was he abusive towards you? Yes. Yeah, so, for about a year when I was around 12. Got it. Um, we, we were living in uh, Dayton, Ohio. When we were living with him, it went from, you know, living in an abandoned house um, in Dayton where there were roaches and mice and all types of stuff. Like you could go into the kitchen and the, the, mice, uh, the mice and the roaches, they're just there. They don't run, they're just there. That's how comfortable they are. There was more their home than it was ours. Wow. Then we moved to a second home in Dayton and 
in that second home um, one morning, I think probably about two weeks into us staying in the second home, um, he woke me up with a belt, you know, beating me. Like, he didn't say anything. He didn't just wake me up first. I turn around, and I get smacked in the face with a belt, mm. you know. I get up. I think he said, you want to you wanna fight your mama? You want to argue with your mama? I, don't, I have no idea what he's talking about. But he's, he's in some Timberland boots with basketball shorts on, no underwear, because I know because it's his stuff is just hanging all in the wind. Um, but he's like, you want to fight me? He's like, fight me, fight me. So I'm, I'm, sorry I'm not to a experience I'm, that. I'm no bitch. Um, so I fight back somewhat, or at least I tried to. But my, my pop's six, seven. He boxed and wrestled in the army. He's beating me up. He puts down the belt. He's like, fight back, fight back, like, like I'm getting initiated into a gang or something. Um, and, you know, Essentially, it took me a while to comprehend the fact that that was abuse because I've always been accustomed to fighting back. I'm from Detroit. I, I come from nothing. Um, I had to fight for everything that I have. Um, but growing up, I realized how much it really, you know, it, it really messed me up. He beat mm. the out of me. So um, when you got to high school, you started to try to, you got out of that household because he yes, stayed on yes. drugs. Is he sober now? He claims he is. I don't believe okay. him though. My producer, and this is striking me, because my producers, I remember telling me earlier that your father told you something about his kidneys. What did he tell you yes. about his kidneys? Yes, yes. So my junior year in high school, he contacted me, and he said that his kidneys were failing. You know, I took that as, you know, he's dying. And I, I mean, I was thinking all types of things, like, man, would I be able to give him one of my kidneys? So, you know, I sl he slowly, you know, we started talking again. He came down to Texas um, and watched a football game, and he went down for my graduation. But not at my graduation, we went to dinner, and when it was me, him, and his wife, and when he went to the restroom, I asked his wife about the kidney. She said she had no idea about it. Was his wife Jamie? Yes. Okay, Jamie, you're here today, right? Hi, Jamie. Is it true that when you were at dinner that you didn't know about the kidney failure? Where'd my money go? Did his father steal $20,000 from him? I don't see him as stealing any money. Not from his son. The truth is about to be unlocked. Oh, you're talking about Mama? Yeah. Mama. Yeah, she left you everything. What will the lie detector outcome reveal? The truth is... When my grandmother died, she left me $20,000 to go to college. At the end of high school though, I asked him where my money was and he told me that it disappeared. Yeah. Your father told you something about his kidneys. My junior year in high school, he contacted me and he said that his kidneys were failing. I took that as, you know, he's dying. So, you know, I sl he slowly, you know, we started talking again, but not at my graduation. We went to dinner. It was me, him, and his wife. And when he went to the restroom, I asked his wife about the kidney. She said she had no idea about it. Is it true that when you were at dinner that you didn't know about the kidney failure? No, I didn't know about the kidney. You didn't know about it. And how long at this point had y'all been married? Two years. Two years. Two years. And did you yeah. ever find out, ever, did he ever go get treatment for his kidney during that time? We never really talked about it anymore. Never talked about it anymore? No, okay. that wasn't. How do you feel about this situation? Do you think that your, hu your husband is capable of doing this? Stealing the money? Stealing money? No. You From don't. the four years that I know him, well, I've been married to him, I don't see him as stealing any money. Uh -huh. Not from his I son. For... So Got it. Got I just see him about trying to get back together with his son. Mm. So from your opinion, he's trying to reconnect this relationship? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh -huh. What do you think he's doing to reconnect this relationship? He's doing a lot. Well, he's trying to reach out to you and trying yeah. to... Where'd my money go? I have no idea about that. I don't well, know where you, your money you, went. I don't believe your father was stealing any money from you. Did you hear about, what about this abuse that he's describing? How, did you know about any of that? I didn't know anything about that. Got it. So he hasn't spoke to you well, about so any about There's so much more where that comes from. Mm. Does it hurt your husband to not have a relationship with his son? Yes, it does. When I'm with my kids, I know he wants to have that bond with his, with his son. And when I see, you know, when we have our family get-togethers and everything, I know he sits there in the days and he'll talk about, you know, him wanting to be with his son, and I'm yeah. like, I want y'all to get that help. Mm. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, it's been it. too long, and. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. We need to get it together. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. um, Eric, y your friend and former babysitter is sitting in the audience. I want to take a moment to talk to her as well. How do you feel about what was just said? 
emotional a little bit because it's bringing back a lot of memories that I didn't want to remember about that with EJ because he was so young. And it's like the fact of me witnessing the abuse with his father and hearing it, seeing him going back and forth, just not having nobody to come to. Yeah. It, it breaks my heart a lot. So you're saying that you did witness all the stuff that he's saying that happened? Absolutely. What kind of things would Eric Sr. get mad at, at his son about? Anything. Anything. He can come in late from practice or come late from the bus. He'll be outrageous, upset, or just because he looks like him. Because That's he looks it. like him. Or he mm. has his name, mm. Eric Jr. He's like, he just likes to, I guess he wants to put off what he should have been as a father onto him. Mm. Did Eric father ever talk about this college money? I've um, always heard it. I've always heard it that it's twenty thousand dollars for him for college and so you've he heard got, it that there absolutely. was money there. You've heard this. Yes, absolutely. Quite okay. a few times when he was talking to his mother, him and his mother, he's like, "Okay, once you get to college, we'll set it up, get it all transferred for your tuition, so you can have it. You won't have to worry about anything." Yeah. But when he came to college, got to ready to college. Do you think his father took it? I do believe so. Mm. All if right. If he feels like he's changing, he's and, changing. But and, as far and, as EJ. And, he doesn't want that. Got it. What will you do if it, it turns out that your father took your money? Either he's going to give me my money back or I am going to sue him for my 20K that my grandmother left me for college. Got it. I'm an independent student. Got it. All okay. that money, that comes from my pockets. All right. I work my ass off. And you're a junior in college right now, right? Yes. What are you studying? I'm a dual degree student. I'm um, getting a bachelor's of science in psychology with a minor in philosophy. All right. Congratulations. And, and you're also a wrestler, I heard? And a bachelor's of arts and justice administration and criminology. I'm also a wrestling and rugby player. I'm an Olympic hopeful. Olympic hopeful. Yeah. Congratulations. Is there any thoughts in your mind that maybe your father is trying to come back in your life because you're Olympic hopeful? That is exactly what I'm thinking it is. If he thinks that he's going to profit from it somehow and he won't have to work. Well, listen, it is time to hear from Eric Jr.'s father. So everyone, please welcome Eric Sr. to the show. How do you feel about what was just said? Well, about the addiction part, um, got eight years clean, he said, and I'm proud of that. Eight so, years clean. Um, Congratulations. Um, this is going to, and, and, and I'm still in school, right? So, so what happened with the $20,000 in there? It was $30,000, right? We both can't talk at the same time. And you always had a lot of mouth. Oh, boy. wow. Did his father con him out of his inheritance? Abuse is abuse, my man. You're saying that your son just made that up. Man, you such you a liar. What would the lie detector outcome reveal? The truth is, stay tuned. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Did he ever go get treatment for his kidney during that time? We never really talked about it anymore. Well, he's trying to reach out to you and... Well, where'd my money go? I have no idea about that. I don't Would know where you... your money went. I don't believe your father was stealing any money from you. Eric, your friend and former babysitter is sitting in the audience. The fact of me witnessing the abuse with his father, it breaks my heart a lot. Did Eric's father ever talk about this college money? I've always heard it. It's twenty thousand dollars for him for college and get it all transferred for your tuition. Do you think his father took it? I do believe so. So what happened with the twenty thousand dollars? It was thirty thousand dollars, right? And I've never seen the will, right? And yes, my grandmother spoiled me. She died in my arms. And what was supposed to have been left for me, because I was getting high at that time, that she said she wasn't going to leave it to me, going to leave it to your son. I'm cool. I was cool with that. I, I was getting more money from her being alive than I do with do her dead, so I'd rather for her to be here. So it ain't sure. about the money with me, right? Never been about that. When did they pass away? Um, 2015. 2015. Yeah. 2000. So, so eight years ago. Yeah. So you were still been like you just said you were still um, using at that yes. time. Did you take your son's money? I gotta ask nah, you clearly. I, for what reason? No. So what do you think happened to the money then? I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. I've never seen no paperwork with the money. You're referring to my great-grandmother, right? Gramps? My grandma. Then her. 
I, I have access to that will. Okay. But I don't think anybody's been referring to Gramps as the one that left the money. Oh, you talking about Bama? Yeah. Oh, Bama. Yeah, she left you everything. No, me and my sister spit everything. So, so is you that did not the one money. that left the money? Oh, oh, no, my grandmother. Mm. Let's go back. My mother passed away. What, 2002? So, it? if you received everything, you must have access to that will, right? No, I did Well, was, then how did you receive So, what listen, do you think listen, happened to the money? How, listen, listen, listen. Final will and testament is a legal document. Well, you find it, son. Listen, I never seen oh, no see, will. Oh, see, I find so listen, it. Listen, check, 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 check this out. Check this okay. out. We both can't talk at the same time, right? And you always had a, a, a lot of mouth since a little boy. Oh, wow. In, regardless of the situation. And that's why we always went through what we went through. You can say that's what why? you want. Listen. You can say what you want to me, but when it comes to your mom, to the, and me and your mom, I, I don't even like your mom, but for you disrespecting your mom in front of me, I'm gonna put my foot in your ass. Simple, just straight. I, I don't, there's no gray area in that. Are you me. trying to justify? It, no, it's not justify, it, not just, it's the reason, you talking about being abusive. Now I'm jumping around because you talk about me being abusive. Me being abusive to you for you being disrespectful. How the hell does that work? How, what do you mean? How, how, how does abuse work? for disrespect? Abuse is abuse, my man. Well, well, you consider disabuse. Um, aren't, aren't, aren't you a mental health? Aren't you a mental health? Uh, we talk about mental health major. Yes, we, yeah, I'm I don't know health. if your school is accredited or not, because you want some dumb. So my Whatever producer said that when he was describing his abuse backstage earlier, that you were smiling. Why were you smiling when he was describing the abuse? Because it probably the story, brought you joy. We, we, no, because of the, because of the reasons that he was saying, I whooped his ass. And at that time, give me some reasons. Listen, at, no, I'm not. I, check it out, son. I would never. I put went to your, school. I would never put your business out here. Oh like no, that. go ahead. I, no, we're not gonna do that. Go ahead. No, put it out. We're not gonna do that. Put it out. We're not gonna do that, bro. Well, you said no, you want me to get clarity. He's no, giving me but, permission to talk about whatever it is. Check it what out, was right. your reasoning for? I'm giving you permission. You had to get hit. I would. I, I would not do that. Okay, but it doesn't get clear. Be, if you was want it a, if you me to be able to help, I need to put his. I was mentioning this. I remember. I whooped your ass about stealing the next door neighbor's BB gun, walking around the neighborhood with that BB gun. I jumped on you about that. I said, you want to be a gangster? I'm going to show you how gangsters do. So, but... Um, I didn't steal anybody's BB gun. Yes, you did, because I, I made you go get that gun out the basement and take it back to the neighborhood. It wasn't, it wasn't stolen, right? Okay, yeah. I'm going to ask you a question, because I think right? some of the things, there's a lot of inconsistency in the story for me. One of the questions that I do have, because it just helps me, Fully your wife, your son said that, um, you said that your kidneys were failing. Your wife said that, that um, she never heard about that. I never heard that one either. That's a good one. So you're saying that your son just made that up, that your son, you never told him that your kidneys were failing? No, nah, not no kidneys. I probably never told him my kid. But what was my, failing oh, my, you? My, my hip. My hip. Oh, I, what, my right what, hip. What the I'm gonna talk to you about a hip for. Why would you tell me that your kidneys are failing? I didn't tell you my kidneys are failing. Yes, yet. you did. Man, you such we a liar. We should have took a lot of tests. We should have took a lot of tests. You ain't, you you ain't changed at all. I don't even know. What well, you tell me about not talking about. He was have like, you done everything you think you can to mend this relationship with your son? Yeah. You know, for the last eight years, I've been living really good. Have you good. apologized? I apologized to him face to face in Texas, right? And when he told me, he said. Um, you don't even take accountability. How you gonna how you gonna make an apology? Sorry, listen. look, apologies are action statements. Sorry is and, an and action. Hold on, word. I haven't been. I, I haven't, hold on, hold on. Check out, check out the action. You take you accountability at the same time. You take accountability for your actions when you apologize. I didn't steal your money because we both can't talk at the same time, right? So I didn't steal his money. So, so, so even for me to give my apology, right? He won't even shut up enough for me to even give him that. So I didn't steal his money. So get to that. Okay. But I'm trying to do that right now. Can't even, I can't. Even but but to even without for him. even without the money, I'm watching the behavior, and I'm even watching how you talk to him right now, telling him to shut up. The way that you're not acknowledging the abuse and you, how you're you've saying You've been like things. this forever. Like I'm watching those things. There's still patterns of what he experienced as a child that I'm exhi seeing exhibited. Yeah, in front like of you, you still right got the same because, 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 you know, it's, abusive it's ass some, tendencies. It's some drama. It's still my child. I a lot of that I, I am in the process of writing books. I'm not here to make you look bad. A lot of people know my story. Within a year, I'll be a published author. People are gonna read. My book is in my I'm, And I'm your book too. gonna be straight so. We're gonna unlock the truth now to get to the truth Thank of this, you. but I will Please, tell you this, bro. this is my advice before I end this. No matter what the test says, um, you stole his childhood. I do know yeah, that I, much. Yeah, I know, I stole, you his, stole his childhood. I stole his childhood. And, and, you, and yes, I'm gonna I tell you that. this, you are still stealing his dignity. 
I'm watching this right now. You are still stealing his dignity. So whether you stole money, you do have to reconcile the fact that there's a childhood that's stolen, his dignity is stolen, and, and you're not acknowledging it. I'm watching the way that you're still talking about it. If someone has expressed, as a father, if my child expressed to me, this is what you did to me. I was abused. I felt hurt by this. No matter what a child's actions are, they're still a child. Okay. And he's telling you right now that it affected him deeply. Money in this context is a synonym for security. Because what happened is, is a child did not have any security. And the one bit of security that was given to him and passed down to him, he feels like the man who robbed him of his security his entire life has now taken the last bit of security that he yeah, deserves. So that's why money is an issue. So, so you have to understand that. Open that thing. Is I will, I will. Issue? But you, your question was, why is this about money? And I'm trying to break it down okay. to you in okay. a way of what it is. Yeah. So Can't in this envelope is the truth of the matter. Are you ready for this? Sure. Let's All right. So when it comes to if Eric Sr. has stolen the $20,000 or $30,000 from you, the truth is, did his father steal $20,000 from him? The whole truth will come out next. Did you take your son's money? No. So what do you think happened to the money then? I, th I don't know. There's a lot of inconsistencies in the story for me. One of the questions that I do have, your son said that um, you said that your kidneys were failing. Your wife said that, that um, she never heard about that. I never heard that one either. That's a good one. You never told him that your kidneys were failing? No, nah, not no kidneys. So in this envelope is the truth of the matter. Are you ready for this? Sure. All okay. right. So when it comes to if Eric Sr. has stolen the $20,000 or $30,000 from you, the truth is, he did not take your money. Okay. How do you feel about that? The, it was I feel like it was a whole lot more questions. I feel like Eric Senior is a really good liar, and he believes all his lies. So, quite frankly, you pass a lot of your skills down to me. So okay. I, I know, you know I what? know how to lie just that. as well. And I know that from from the wrestling from the lying, from the cheating, from the stealing, oh, from don't, the don't conniving, take, don't take, don't from take. the lying that you're doing up here, all that up here? Up here? Listen, uh, it's look, a lot of I want I to break the cycle with, from the womanizing. Just because, like, womanizing. From, yeah, from, from everything that I lived through that I was past, that I would love to break it. Oh, I'm not that's womanizing why, like that, you. That's why I was hoping you was going to be the first Jamie, one but. to go to college, but I kind of beat you there. You were supposed to be in the first gamble, but hold up, hold I'll up. beat you there. But so you do know. So, so, it was, it so was, you wanted this. You wanted this. You wanted yes. this, this test so that you can repair yes. your relationship. Yes. I'm going to tell you again. Yes. I'm going to tell you again, Eric Jr. You got to give me a moment real quickly because the way that you're communicating him right now, as if it's a competition, I beat you there. I beat you there. If you really wanted to get this to be cleared up so you can move forward with him, yeah. the way you just communicate with him is still abusive. It's still abusive in it. Yeah. I, well, I beat you to it. It's like, yeah. no, no, why beat me down more? Hold on, I mean, but, 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 you know I get, what? Hold I on, get listen, it. listen, listen, because you put it out there wrong, man, so I'm not going to let you do it. I, don't, but I, I wanted to put it, said. because it, it was supposed to have been celebrated, right? Because I didn't go to college. My mother saved up all his money. Yeah, you want to be celebrated, right? And you wonder why. It's it's so, like. so when but he's right in that moment. Yeah, I listen. Yeah, I'm but, an outside third party. I'm talking to you, though, right? And I'm trying to... Talk to you. But so, to, to, listen, to celebrate listen. him, you don't have to say that I made it first. No, no, I no. Can celebrate, okay, okay. I can celebrate my kids all day okay. long and never have to tell them okay. that I did it first. My children, one of my sons right now is getting in the industry, and there are so many things he accomplished. And when he accomplished them, I say, oh, my, it's good for you. I have never once come out of my mouth and said, you know what, well, I did it first. You know, dad did no, it. Okay. I sit there and I say to him always, right. I'm so proud of you. You keep going. You keep making it. I'm always proud of him. I know, but what I'm trying to help he you to see is He was supposed to be the first that, gamble to go to college. It's, it's the point I was supposed to make. He was supposed to be the first gamble to go to college. I waited until I was 50 something years old. That was the point I was trying to make. Not, not competition. Like, every he was supposed time, to have been the first. Every not time me. that you were around, you know, to, to witness my success, you, it was always, you know, mm -hmm. you just, you know, not you feeling good for me, but you feeling good about me. Because yeah. you, you seem to think that my success is, in some way, your success. It's not, not at I all. I didn't play no part in you getting here. Everything that I have, I've worked for. You are, and quite frankly, I don't need you in my life. Okay, cool listen, I will, I will tell you this, I'll tell you this. I'm cool with that. I'm cool I, with I think, that. I think that was a, you made your point clear yeah. of where you stand in your life right now. Listen, Eric Jr., I want to let you know something. I believe in you. 
Um, you have accomplished so, so much, and you are going to do really great things in your life. And I don't want you to let anybody, not even your father, put limits on what you can accomplish because you're going to accomplish great things. I know there's a lot of trauma and things that you have not been able to deal with that you're not going to get answers for, but you can still overcome this as you already have, and you can soar. So just keep soaring. We all believe in you. Trust me, okay? I believe in you. All right? Good luck. I wish you all the best. All right, everyone. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep growing. I love you all. Good luck. Good luck. No redemption, you know? Uh, a lot of stuff was said, right? A lot of stuff I could have said, but I'm not there to attempt to damage my son. I wanted him to be successful. I just wanted my name clear with this money, you know. Kind of hurt behind the situation, and you know, I got a relationship with him. Um, kind of made he made me look bad out there, but I'm okay with that. Um, and I would never make him look bad. I would kiss nobody ass, not even my son. So if you don't want nothing to do with this, I did my part. I can sleep well now. I'm cool with that.